my new MacBook just came in the mail and I'm so excited. I just can't wait to open it up with you guys. I've been waiting all week. My old MacBook has been around since 2014, so I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I cannot wait. I love the silver MacBook. I was considering the rose gold but i feel like even pictures and stuff the silver looks so classic and it is just such my style i also bought a ton of accessories for it because like these don't come with these side ports a usb to c and i think i have a usb to sd i think it's called that should we open it up So right now I am just setting up my Mac. I'm so excited. I have not had a new computer in so long. I'm cleaning up my dock, just setting it up and customizing it to my favorite preferences. I also wanted to share these beautiful wallpapers that I made. It is free to download. The link is down below. So I have this sunflower theme. It says make it happen and start somewhere. It's really bright and colorful and gives you that nice burst of inspiration all of these that i made actually have so many inspiring quotes there's also this neutral one this is the one that i actually have set on my computer it says chase less attract more and i absolutely love that as a theme for this year the other quote is one that i absolutely love as well and it says your energy is currency spend it well invest it wisely that is basically my overall theme for this year I really believe in those things. I really believe that you attract everything that you give attention to. Then I did this really blush pink themed one, which I absolutely love as well. It says your life is as good as your mindset and what we focus on magnifies. Another theme that I really love. And this one is from Peonies that I actually photographed myself. So this one says a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. And it says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know which one you like and which one you downloaded. The link is down below and it is totally free. So once my MacBook was set up, I needed to clean this room really badly. So this is like my small office space to just basically do whatever I want to do in. So I have my desk. I sometimes do my workouts, but this room has a really bad tendency to get very, very dusty. So I wanted to touch up this room a little bit, sweep, mop, and tidy up my desk. I have no idea what Coco does during the day, but it gets really dusty and I think she's doing something strange. <laughs> Now that is finished, we are going to move across to my kitchen because I have just been so busy and I didn't get a chance to clean my counters in a while. You can see my toaster oven has gross foil in it and the counters are a bit dirty. So I'm just going to take out everything, take out the foil from the toaster oven, throw that away. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean down the countertop surface, wipe everything down and then put it back so that it looks really, really nice and makes me feel really inspired to come and cook and make my dinners and just really nourish my body i love a beautiful space like you guys know that so i will feel so happy when this is all tidied up so i can cook something really nice for dinner see how good that looks now it makes me feel so happy i know that i should clean up immediately after dinner but sometimes i just want to like have dinner watch a good show and just like not have to think about cleaning <laughs> but i am working on that but this is how everything looks and i'm just gonna go ahead and put away some dishes and uh, yeah
Hello, so I just made some lemon water. I love having like a little bit of chilled lemon water every morning because I'm practicing like intermittent fasting. and it's something I really wanted to try this year and really stick to. I know you're supposed to drink lemon water when it's like warm, but I honestly can stomach it so much better when it's like a little bit chilled. It, it just tastes so much better to me and I feel like if it does, it's the same thing. This year, I feel like if I want self-care to be a huge major theme because in the past like i would always slip into like a rut where i would like eat really badly where i wouldn't really take care of myself and this year especially since i have my own place and i really am able to like live my true and best life so i'm putting things into place so i could kind of have like my ideal morning routine and my ideal night routine with just everything that i want one of the things i really want to do today is plan some of my meals and I have been finding that I love sheet pan meals. Like I love baking vegetables. I've been doing that for this entire week, like baking vegetables. I mean, like a roasted baked vegetable salad. And it tastes so good. So I just want to get some more ideas of what I can make because I just feel like if it's the easiest thing, I can literally just pop it into the toaster oven and then go about my evening i can take a shower i can really unwind and then by the time i'm finished my food is finished and all things are good in life so i'm just gonna go ahead and basically plan some meals i'm gonna look on pinterest my favorite place in life I want to also eat intuitively. I want to like actually fuel my body and nourish my body with amazing things. So right now I'm just making a grocery list of like vegetables that I am now thinking about like some radishes, cucumbers. I don't know why I don't like cucumbers. I feel like if like this is the year I need to stop liking cucumbers because there's so many things that I can make with it. <laughs> So on my list, I have radishes, cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, eggplants, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, zucchini, red onions, and lots of garlic. I just love garlic with everything. I have corn, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, green beans, snow peas, kale, spinach. And I feel like I have a lot of these I can just throw inside my toaster oven, do what I have to do for my evening routine, like maybe get a workout in, take a really nice shower, and then when I'm finished all of that, my dinner is basically made and ready and I just have to add like a really nice dressing on it. That's also something I have here that I want to do. I want to make a really nice salad dressing. So some herbs I want to get are dill, basil, thyme. Let me just say, when you're living on your own and you're now moving in, you forget so many things. So I really recommend writing down everything. So as soon as I remember like something I have to get, I run and write it down so I never forget it. By using this, I can eventually like type up a grocery list, like a really fixed grocery list, so I know exactly what I need to get, exactly what fresh produce and vegetables I need to get for my dinners, <laughs> and how to buy it so I wouldn't be like willy-nilly everywhere. <laughs> She's seeing a bird right now, you guys. A bird is sitting on my gate and she's like so fixated. Are you seeing this? This is like pouncing. You're seeing it in action. She's literally like crouched so low on my desk right now. Her tail is like wagging because she's seeing a bird. I love cats, let me just say. <laughs> Okay, so there she goes. 